joining us today. So for any guests that we have with us, welcome. We're glad you're here. I'm Kelly Flannery. I'm the very proud president and CEO of the South Tampa Chamber. Um, a couple quick housekeeping items, and then we will turn it over to Bo. He is our membership manager, and he's going to lead us through the first part of today. Um, we're going to ask for everyone to go ahead and mute your microphone. Um, when we're ready to start the presentation, we will self-mute the group, but that way when we unmute it later, if there's anything happening in the background, um, everyone else won't be privy to, to whatever that is. Um, throughout the presentation today, on the bottom of your screen, uh, you can click chat and that's going to open a chat box for you. We encourage you to put your contact information in there, introduce yourself to the group. Because we do have a large group today, um, it would be a little time consuming to go around and do introductions. So we're going to ask you to do your introductions in that chat box. Feel free to include your contact information as well. And then at the end of the meeting, you will go to the three little dots on the bottom right hand side. It's going to let you download the chat and then that way you'll have everyone's information that you can take with you and, and follow up and continue to connect. Um, additionally, on the bottom left hand side, there's where your mute button will be as well as your stop video. Um, so we love to be able to see your faces. If you're comfortable being on video, that's great. Um, but if you need to take a break or step away, for those of you that might be working in the office, if you have someone that comes in and you want to turn your video off, that is where that will be as well. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to turn it over to Bo. Um, want to just remind everyone additionally that we are recording this presentation today. Um, and so anything that goes in the group chat um, and that is said during uh, the presentation will be recorded. So we will have that for you um, to be able to watch back later as well. So lots of great information today. And if you have questions throughout the presentation, feel free to include those in the chat. When we're ready to go to Q&A, we'll go back through the chat, see if there's anything we missed. And then we'll open up the room at the end for anyone who wants to be able to ask a question or provide feedback. I know we have some ambassadors and board members who are here with us today, and they may have some valuable feedback that they would like to share as well. But uh, for, the, for now, we're going to turn it over to Bo. He's our membership manager at the South Tampa Chamber. Um, he's put a great presentation together for you. For those that maybe have attended a Chamber 101 in the past, this is going to be a little different. We've included a lot more information regarding how you can be activating your membership right now during this unusual time. And for those of you that are new members, you're going to get a little bit of a Chamber overview today, but we do encourage you to join us for one of our more formal Chamber 101s in the upcoming weeks as well, where we'll talk more about opportunities for involvement on our committees, networking, and the various events that the Chamber hosts throughout the year. So thank you so much to Bo for this great presentation that you put together, and we look forward to learning lots of great stuff about how to activate your membership with the South Tampa Chamber. Thanks, Kelly, and good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm going to share my screen here with our presentation. So. Uh, this is the first time we're doing this particular type of um, presentation, so uh, hopefully there's no hiccups, but in the meantime, if there are, please just uh, be patient with us, and hopefully, you know, it'll be something funny so we can all laugh together. We're all friends here. <laughs> exactly. So let's pull this up. All right. Um, all right, so um, first of all, welcome to Chamber 101. As Kelly mentioned, uh, this presentation is usually a group effort uh, by all of our staff in person. We provide lunch for you guys. Um, we go in depth in, into some other parts of our um, chamber that we're not going to cover today. But again, as Kelly mentioned, uh, we are really going to focus on how you can be using your, um, your membership virtually. Uh, obviously, that's really important right now because we can't be meeting in person. Um, and you guys have a chamber membership, and so we want to give you guys the best opportunity uh, to um, get something out of it, right? So again, welcome. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Um, we are going to go ahead and get started. So real quick, uh, just thanks to our sponsors. Uh, normally, Chichio Cali would be our food sponsor. Um, so we obviously don't have food provided for you guys today. Um, so in the meantime, Tampa Hillsborough Expressway Authority, a uh, really wonderful partner of ours. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen their dust as they've moved, um, you know, extended their projects over towards the Gandhi. But Again, really appreciative to them for sponsoring this event. Uh, so if you would, if you haven't already, uh, please introduce yourself into the chat. Uh, just who are you, what you do, 
uh, and why you joined the chamber. And then if you'd like, if you want people to contact you, feel free to, um, you know, include your contact information. And again, as Kelly mentioned, down on the right hand side, you should be able to download that chat at the end in case you saw someone that you wanted to connect with uh, and you can follow up from there after. All right, so Kelly, introduce herself. Again, she's the awesome, wonderful president and CEO of our chamber. Um, again, I'm the membership manager here and you can see all of our roles here on, on the slide presentation. Uh, Erica, I'm gonna, if you can, if you wanna unmute yourself, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to, to talk about how awesome you are. Hi everyone, can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Um, I am the events manager here at the chamber. Uh, so uh, normally live events are my thing, um, but as we've moved into virtual events too, I handle those as well. Uh, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, how to get more involved in virtual events, um, we're basically doing everything we do normally. Uh, it's just on your screen now uh, and it's a little different, but, but we're flexible and uh, we're still trying to make your, your membership as great as it can be. A little bit about me. I am Tampa born and raised, um, and I have a puppy at home, so she is loving remote work right now. Thanks, Erica. Ashley? Hi, I think my computer froze. Can you all hear me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm the administrative and communications coordinator here at the Chamber. Um, I'm basically in charge of social media, the website, various types of communication. Um, feel free to reach out to me if you want anything shared on our social media, if I can help you out with that, with any advertising questions or opportunities, things like that, feel free to reach out. So. Cool. I'd like Thanks, to Ashley. take just a quick second to recognize our team members. You know, as Erica said, she's had to really shift her role from our live events to our virtual events. So thank you to Erica for all the hard work you've done to kind of lead us through that. Um, that you guys that have been on these with me before know that I really um, was opposed to switching to virtual programming for the past several years. This was, you know, one of those rip the bandaid type uh, situations off where, where now we're enjoying it and it's probably something that we'll in, in continue to do um, you know as we transition back to um, live events we'll probably do some hybrid and then Ashley um, has put together some great programs for you all which we're going to show you a little bit later um, in regards to our restaurant guides our virtual activity guides our nonprofit guides and so um, and of course Bo has I think at this point spoken to 90% of our members over the phone in the past you know six weeks or so so Thank you guys so much for your willingness to um, be innovative and to help us, you know, move into this temporary time together. And you guys have done a great job. So I appreciate all of you. Awesome. Thanks, team. So let's go on to the next slide. So today uh, we're going to cover a couple things. Um, and uh, no need to take notes unless you really want to. Again, we're going to record, we're recording this presentation. And so if you'd like to return back to it, or if you miss something throughout the presentation, uh, we're gonna be posting that for you guys, hopefully on our YouTube page. Um, otherwise we'll make it available to you via email and you guys can have it uh, for your own use. Uh, so again, today we're gonna cover what is a Chamber of Commerce? I know that sounds like a basic question. Uh, I was chatting with one of our partners here in the community this past week, and I was telling them that, you know, the word Chamber of Commerce is, is something that has been around for a very, very long time. And so to some extent, it's one of those words that, you know, we hear and we think that we know what it is, but in all reality, uh, it's really difficult to define. So we're going to define that for you today. Also, we are going to talk about what makes our chamber unique. So amongst, you know, the definition of a chamber of commerce, what is the definition of our chamber of commerce? Um, and then Kelly, I'm going to turn it over to her for this portion, but how can you be using your membership virtually? Again, we kind of spoke briefly about the importance of that. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to wrap it up with where to find us. Um, and if you have further questions after this presentation, which staff member to reach for those questions so that we can get your questions answered. Sound good, everybody? All right. Moving on to the next slide here. Okay. So what is a Chamber of Commerce? So as I mentioned, uh, it's one of those words that we hear often, right? And if anybody feels very adventurous, you can enter into the group chat real quick what you guys think a Chamber of Commerce is or what it means to you. Um, but while you guys are putting those answers in over here, um, you know, the, the textbook definition of a Chamber of Commerce is very, on a very basic level, it's a voluntary business organization. Uh, we're here to unite you guys, 
which are businesses, professional leaders, individuals, and it creates a central agency to improve the business community and hopefully improve on, on all things um, that we do here in South Tampa. Uh, there's definitely a place in the chamber for everyone who shares this desire uh, to improve the community and uh, the conditions under which business is conducted. Um, and then simply put a nice little sentence here in the bottom, it directs the energies of those uh, who believe that a community worth living in is a community worth improving, right? So I, I know that I said a bunch of things here, but the best way I always describe this in this presentation is we're basically a hub, we're a switchboard. Uh, we connect uh, businesses, uh, professional leaders, politicians, community leaders, all those types of folks to their needs as it relates to businesses, right? Um, and so hopefully that you guys have been in the chamber for a little bit or just now kind of getting acquainted with the chamber, uh, you have a business need and hopefully we have helped facilitate that need and plugged you into the right place uh, to hopefully improve your business or improve the livelihood of those who live here like myself um, or you know improve the the barriers in which business is done through some of our advocacy work and then again if you have any questions about any of this stuff um, if i'm complicating any of these definitions either take note of it or you can fill it in right here in the zoom, uh, zoom group chat and at the end of the presentation we'll make sure to return back to it um, but again, if we miss it, we apologize, enter it in at the, at the end, and we'll make sure we get your questions answered. All right. So we've defined what a Chamber of Commerce is. Again, it's a hub, it's a switchboard to connect you guys to resources. Uh, but what does that mean in the context of our community here in South Tampa? Uh, it's just very practically speaking, uh, South Tampa, we get this question a lot, what exactly is it? But for our purposes, uh, how the zip codes are um, aligned in South Tampa. We're basically 275 all the way down to um, the McDale Air Force Base. Now we have, if you look at a map of all of our chamber members, we encompass many different zip codes, not just in Hillsborough County, but you know, maybe in Pinellas County, Pasco, Manatee, etc. cetera. Um, but this chamber is for those that either want to get involved in the community here in South Tampa, want to engage in the South Tampa market, or who have a brick and mortar here, and they wanna really get involved in the community because we are, at the end of the day, a community organization. Uh, a little bit about the history of us. Uh, we've been around since 1926. Uh, the chamber actually started on the southwest uh, part of the peninsula at the Old Port. Um, and then, you know, now we're right centrally located on, on South Howard. Uh, right now, it's, despite the coronavirus stuff, uh, it's one of the greatest moments, I think, in our history. Uh, we have the most members we've ever had in our history. Uh, over 650 was the latest counts of member businesses. And of those 600 member businesses, uh, we have about 1,600 people um, that make up those, those businesses. Every year we, uh, we give uh, back to our community in a lot of different ways, either through our military advocacy or community events, but also through some of our charitable donations. Uh, last December, we um, our proceeds for our holiday party went to Southeastern Guide Dogs, and we have two puppies that we uh, keep up with throughout the course of the year, and they're posted up in our office. Really excited about that one. And this year, uh, I'm sure Kelly will tell you about it if she'd like to, uh, but we thought that our uh, scholarship uh, that we give every year to our high schools was not going to happen, but thankfully some folks pulled through and, and gave, and we were super excited to continue that um, as we have uh, throughout the years. Uh, and then one of the things that we love the most with the South Tampa Chamber is our Remember a Member Referral Program. That's a digital tool to show off all the good work uh, that our members do. Uh, whenever one member of the chamber does business with another and has a good experience, we ask them and encourage them to post that hashtag on any of their social media outlets um, to talk about uh, some of the good stuff that they're doing. All right, moving on to the next slide. So again, talking about uh, what makes our chamber unique, uh, I do think that it's important to talk about our mission, vision, values. Um, so just real quick, the mission of the South Tampa Chamber uh, is to provide a forum that connects members, enhances commerce, and enriches the South Tampa community. Well, what's our vision for that mission? Well, ultimately, we want to make South Tampa the best place to live, work, and play, right? That's I think it already is. <laughs> it definitely is. Um, and then what are some of our values that kind of our pillars that make up these mission and vision? So how do we carry this out? Uh, always, 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 you guys are our first priority. It's why 
right off the bat, as soon as this coronavirus thing went down, we called you make sure that you were okay. Um, and we'll continue to do that. We promise that uh, for you guys. You guys are first. Uh, community is also a huge value of ours. Uh, we've always been a trusted and informed uh, resource for businesses and residents here in Southampton. Again, we've been around for almost 100 years. Um, I think that kind of speaks for itself. Uh, Kelly, again, we'll talk a little bit about this, uh, but we are an advocate for you all. And basically what that just means is that we're fighting for you guys. Uh, when you guys have concerns with uh, some of the business regulations or community regulations that go on our community that our elected officials uh, vote on um, continually, we want to make sure that we are representing you guys and we are your voice um, to advocate on your behalf to make sure that the environment that you're conducting business in is done at a really high quality or high level, excuse me. And then integrity is a, a very important value of ours. Uh, we take our member investment really seriously. And so we feel, you know, personal responsibility to use those member investments wisely. Um, we always try to operate honestly and ethically. And last but definitely not least, uh, we like to think of ourselves as an inclusive organization. Um, I think what a lot of our members will say uh, behind closed doors is that um, what they love most about the South Tampa Chamber is that they feel welcome, that they feel like it's home to them. They make friends here, they go on vacation together, that sort of thing. Um, and so we work really, really, really hard to make uh, sure that you guys all feel comfortable um, in this environment. And then I'm going to turn it over to Kelly to talk about this slide. And again, she's going to go over this nice little list of ways in which that you can be using your membership virtually. Uh, hopefully you'll be surprised at the amount of tools that are at your disposal to use some of this stuff. Uh, we're really proud of ways in which we've been um, kind of creative to continue to advocate on your behalf and connect you guys virtually. Um, and so again, I'm going to turn it over to Kelly to talk about some of these things. And again, thanks so much for coming today. And I'm sure we'll we'll conclude. I'd be happy to share a few last words. But yeah, go ahead, Kelly. Thank you so much, Bo. Um, so quickly, before we move on um, to this, I have a couple of things. Um, while we have Erica here, especially, um, we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about events today as we normally would in a regular um, Chamber 101, just because we're not able to hold live events right now, but we're certainly still working each and every day to continue to connect our members and provide educational opportunities and resources for you. Um, so not to put you on the spot, Erica, but if you wanna share just a little bit about some of the virtual events that we're doing, some of the stuff we have coming up in the next week or two, um, and then I'm gonna chat for just a second about our committees because they are still meeting um, offline or online, not offline, online. Um, and then I'll get into these this top 10 list with you. Absolutely. I, I'm happy to talk about some of the things we got going on um, here at the Chamber. Uh, so going into um, next week, um, it's May is still um, packed, or excuse me, the end of April is still packed. Um, we have a very busy week next week. Um, we have two Zoom calls, one on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, one of our, our favorites, Debbie Lumberg, is going to be presenting um, she is always a treat and she's going to be talking about sales on Tuesday. And then um, one of our other members, Akash, is going to be doing a social media approach on Wednesday. So that's certainly going to be something to look into. Um, everybody has really moved into social media these days. Um, so it's either a good refresh or um, some good tips to start utilizing. And then Thursday, we have our Chamber Cheers, which normally we do once a month. Uh, we've been doing it a little more frequently because we want to keep connecting with you all. Um, and actually this week, one of our members, Karen Cook, she is called the Cork Queen. She's going to be doing a, a 101 into wine. Um, so if you're a wine drinker, uh, it's going to be super interesting. She's going to be talking about different types of wine, the best glasses to use, some of the best places, uh, you know, countries to find wine. So something a little different, um, but definitely still a great networking opportunity um, and to meet some fellow members. And then going into May, uh, we have our Women's Connection Group meeting on Tuesday, May 5th. Um, and we're doing a little bit uh, of a different program for that. It's kind of going to be some speed presentations. Um, everybody has a little bit of a different remote remote working environment right now. Um, so everybody's kind of bringing okay, like some different tips and tricks that they're utilizing. Uh, we have everything from people presenting on real estate to uh, the best coffee recipes that they're making. 
So uh, that's going to be super fun and just something I'm so that I got doing. Like, I haven't been this excited about an event in like a while <laughs> and I'm super excited about this one. I think it's going to be so much fun. Yeah. So we're, we're staying packed um, on the calendar. So continue to um, refresh yourself. Uh, I'm sure you're getting my emails. Uh, they're, they're, they're not stopping. So uh, keep updated and uh, let me know if you have any questions, if you have any ideas. Um, that, that you're interested in presenting to the chamber, I'd be happy to um, look into that and see the best way that we can uh, fit you guys in uh, for anything, okay? Thank you, Erica. And, and as members, if you have additional thoughts or ideas of different ways we can be continuing to connect with you or help you to connect with each other, as well as educational opportunities, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We welcome feedback and ideas. Um, but obviously over the past couple of weeks, we've had to shift our focus a little bit, um, as many of you have had to do in your businesses as well. Um, and so essentially, we've really shifted to five main areas of focus, one being advocacy. Um, this is what I'm probably spending about 60% of my time, if not more on right now. This week is huge because we're waiting to see this afternoon, the announcement from the governor in regards to his plan to start reopening the state of Florida. And of course, we're working very closely with our local elected officials in Hillsborough County in the city of Tampa as we start to put a plan together for reopening businesses here um, in the Tampa Bay community as well, understanding um, that things are not going to go back to quite business as usual right away. So how do we help our members and our businesses transition um, into, through that process um, and how do we continue to keep our community safe at the same time? So advocacy has been a big thing uh, for us in the past couple of weeks, not that it wasn't something that we were already focused on, but it's been laser focused most recently, and please know that we are doing anything and everything possible um, to be advocating on behalf of your business at all level of government, local, state, and federal, um, as we continue to, um, to just push forward together as a community. Um, our second focus most recently has been the timely sharing of information. So you guys are getting a lot of emails from me. I hope that you find them useful. We're continuing to update our, our resources page, which I'm gonna talk a little bit more about in just a moment. Um, promoting our members is open for business. We're going to chat more about that today as well. The virtual opportunities to connect and educate, which Erica just shared with you. And then, of course, uh, what happens next, which is going to be recovery and rebuilding. And I wish I had more to share with you about that today, um, but be on the lookout for some information um, in that area coming in the upcoming days and weeks. So realistically, probably what we're looking at is from a live events perspective, we are probably won't start hosting live events again until sometime um, in June or July. So our May calendar is going to continue to be built out with valuable programming in a virtual setting. Um, and although we wish we could see you in person, we're enjoying getting to see you here. Um, and we do look forward to seeing you in person soon. Um, but for the time being, we're going to keep looking for innovative ways to connect you here. So as our staff was starting this process five weeks ago and talking about how can we continue to bring value to our members, what are some things that we already are doing that maybe we could do differently or that maybe we could just educate them on a little bit better? And what are some new things that we want to be doing to continue to bring value? So we put together this top 10 list of, of items that we'd like to share with you today. For some of you, this may just be a refresher or a reminder. For some others that might be newer members, this might be totally new information for you. Um, and Bo, did we want to share the website or you just want me to kind of go through the list or? Yeah, let's just go through the list, Kelly. And then if anyone has any questions, okay. if they want to see some of this stuff uh, in action, we can either make a little plug for 301 or we can just, okay. I can switch over to the webpage. All right, Whatever. awesome, thank you. All right, so number one, as I mentioned, we have an awesome business and community resources page that we put together for you on the South Tampa Chamber website. Um, if you go under the tab for, um, for news, what's happening in Tampa, it's going to be right underneath that tab, and we are updating this daily. So it's got a ton of community information there for you, anything and everything that you need to know about what's happening locally or the resources that you need, everything from where to go get tested if you think you might have um, COVID-19 to updates that are coming in from Hillsborough County Public Schools, um, and lots of great resources for you there. In addition to the resources that we're providing things to our partners at the Florida Chamber and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, we've got some legislative updates there, information on Families First Act, the CARES Act, I mean, any type of legislation that's come through at the state or the federal level, we've been updating that information there for you, hopefully putting it in nice, easily digestible uh, pieces of information so you can find what you're looking for quickly, click through the links, 
um, and then and get the whatever it is that you're in need of. The very first thing that we implemented as we started going through this temporary time um, was to make sure that we were continuing to promote our Remember a Member program and that South Tampa is open for business. So throughout the past several weeks and continuing moving forward, we're asking members to continue to update people using social media, let people know that you're open, even if you're having to do business a little bit differently during this time, use the hashtag open for business. Uh, so that we can find you easily and share your information out as well. So we've had the best time getting to see some of the innovative things that our members are doing during this time and sharing that information out with the community. Most recently, you'll also see us using the hashtag members doing good or spread the love or share the good because we're really seeking out those special opportunities um, to recognize our members who are doing great things in the community as well. And then, of course, always remember a member. So this is a program that was in place way, way before me. So I can't take credit for this hashtag, but it's probably one of the things that our chamber is most well known for. Um, it's just the fact that our members want to do business, that old saying with people they know, like, and trust. They want to do business with other chamber members. Um, so we're encouraging our members to continue to utilize local businesses um, and that when you have a need for a specific product or service, if you're not able to find that on the Chamber website, just give us a call at the Chamber office and we're happy to continue to make those connections and referrals on behalf of your business for the Chamber. There's also a great opportunity when you're in, event, in events like today where we've asked you to share information in the group chat where you can continue to connect with each other that way. Moving into the next couple of weeks, we're going to be looking for some more opportunities from a programming perspective and through social media to connect you even more as we're identifying businesses that have very specific needs as they prepare to reopen and other businesses that are able to help you fulfill those specific needs. And so be on the lookout for some information that's going to be coming out regarding that in the upcoming days and weeks as well. Connect with fellow members in our member only group. So in addition to the events that we're doing here on Zoom, where you have the opportunity for every event we do, you have that 10 minutes of networking time at the beginning of the event that's meant for you to be able to come in and chat with each other and share with each other and just enjoy open networking the same as you would at the beginning of any of our live events. So we, can, we encourage you to continue to connect there. We also have a Facebook group, which is a private members only group as well as a LinkedIn group, which is a private members only uh, group on LinkedIn. And we encourage our members to join those groups and connect in there. You're able to share information about things that you're doing. You're able to comment on the posts that other members are doing, share resources. Um, earlier today, Promise a Fit Body Bootcamp did a 15 minute stretch on Facebook Live inside our member group. So there's a lot of great stuff that's happening in that group. Um, on Fridays, we do a roll call where you're able to go in and, and give us an update on what's happening in your business. So we're encouraging members to continue to connect through those groups. I think we've doubled in size um, in those groups over the past several weeks. We also have a women's connection group. Um, and so this is an area where our female business uh, professionals um, have a space for them to be able to share and connect as well. And there's some additional programming coming um, inside that private group as well. Our military affairs committee does have a public group, not a private group, because we do allow uh, military, uh, both active duty reservists and veterans to participate in that group as well. And it's just another great place to be able to share valuable information and for members to be able to post and connect with each other in a virtual setting. Um, upload your virtual events and webinars to the Chamber's community calendar. This has been probably one of the biggest requests that we've received as you are looking for innovative and new ways to conduct business for, your, for yourself and for your clients, you guys have so much great information and resources to share. And so for those of you that are conducting virtual events, whether it be a Zoom webinar like this, whether it be a Facebook Live presentation that you have scheduled, or maybe it's even something pre-recorded um, that you've previously done, you are able to share your events on the Chamber's calendar. This goes out on our website so that community members can find you. And we're also now sharing this information in our Monday morning e-newsletter. So I know we have several members that have some things that are in the works, but we continue just to ask you to send that information to us, or you can actually log in through your member, member portal and upload this information yourself. But it's a great way for you all to be able to stay connected and see what each of you are doing and share your expertise with each other and with the community. 
And if you need help setting up um, a webinar or learning how to do something from a virtual setting, please feel free to reach out to us. We can share with you uh, the trials and tribulations and successes and challenges that we've had in learning this new medium. And we're happy to share that with you as well so that you can get your virtual events um, up and running and share your experience with others. Also, have you made changes to your business or service offerings? So as I mentioned, there's a lot of businesses here in South Tampa that are still very much open for business, but you're doing things a little bit differently. Or maybe you're offering uh, limited services. Maybe you've diversified your services. Maybe you've just had to shift your business model. And we want to know that information. We're still getting phone calls at the chamber office all day long. Um, Ashley can tell you the phone is still ringing off the hook. And people are calling looking for resources um, and looking for information. So we want to make sure that your member um, directory listing is correct. If you've had changes to your business, make sure that your phone number, email, and all that information is correct. But also if you've made changes to your service offering, maybe you're doing something new and different. Many of our restaurants are now offering takeout and delivery. Um, many of our retail stores are now offering online services or personal shopping or curbside pickup. So if you've made some shifts or changes in your business, we encourage you to share that. Um, in addition to your member directory listing, uh, we also have a member news page. So this is a great place for you to, uh, for lack of a better way of putting it, uh, put out a press release about the things happening in your business. For those of you that are subject matter experts, this is also a great place for you to share resources and information. So for example, um, Tampa, our, one of our Tampa veterinarian uh, members often will post stuff regarding, you know, just things to know. If there's different things happening throughout um, the year when the dog beaches are closed due to different, um, uh, due to the red tide or things like that. So you can use this as a resource um, to share information with the community, share information about your business, um, but also to position yourself as a subject matter expert. Specifically, when we have a lot of businesses that are looking for help right now as we're getting ready to move into this new transitional time over the next couple weeks in the next couple months. Um, so make sure that you're updating your um, directory listing and that you're sharing your news on the Chamber News page. We also have a hot deals page on the website. Um, and this is a great place for you to post different products or services or promotions that you happen to be offering at this time. I always tell our restaurants, I'm like, post your happy hour events there, post the different specials and things that you're doing. As we lead up to the holidays, we often see this page just absolutely full of different things that businesses are offering as we go into Shop Small Saturday or the holiday shopping season. But this is a great time for you to be showcasing your business and service offerings now as well. So especially as we're here in this virtual setting, I know there's a lot of businesses that are currently offering things like a free 15 minute consultation. Um, or a complimentary service or something like that that you happen to be doing or offering. This is a great place where you can post that information for people to easily find. Um, and then throughout the year, um, if, again, if you have seasonal offerings or different promotions or things that you want to share, this is a great place to put it. Um, I can tell you that prior to being here at the Chamber, um, when I worked for Grillsmith Restaurants, I used to post a lunch special there that I would post several times throughout the year, we had one of the highest open rates you can include in there for them to print it out and bring it right with them um, when they come to your business so that you know that that's exactly where they got that coupon um, or that special offer from. So there's a lot of great ways that you can be promoting your business. There are hot deals and promotions page. If you are just having a mental block and you need some help being creative, feel free to reach out to one of our team members or any of our ambassadors. We have some really creative ambassadors as well. We'd be happy to walk you through part of that, um, that thought process to come up with something creative and great that you can offer there. Um, attend a webinar or a virtual event to learn new skills to implement in your business. So as Erica mentioned, we have a lot of great events that, we've are, have, that we are hosting in the upcoming weeks and several that we've hosted over the past few weeks and those recordings are all available for you on the Chamber website. If you go to the same tab where you would look for the event calendar, there's gonna be a link for our previously recorded sessions. You can go right there and find that great information thanks to our generous speakers. Um, but as we go through this temporary time into our next transitional time, we still want to make sure that we're providing you great educational opportunity, things that you can implement in your business today. Um, and so continue to join us at these virtual events. We've been trying to host them at different times. We've been trying to 
um, bring in different speakers to speak on different topics. And of course, we do welcome your feedback if there's something specific that you would like to learn about. It's also a great place um, for you to connect with fellow chamber members. We're having weekly networking events. I've had several uh, Friday mornings where we've hosted coffee with the CEO, and we're gonna give you some opportunity to network after the presentation today as well. As Erica mentioned, next week we have our chamber cheers. This is our traditional you know, end of the month happy hour that we host each month. Um, it's late in the afternoon. Um, I think 90% of our attendees at last month, you know, did enjoy an adult beverage, you know, later in the day uh, for our last chamber cheers. Um, and then we're also going to be bringing to you in the next couple weeks some opportunities that are specific for our business owners and employers. Um, for you to be able to connect and collaborate with each other about the new changes and things that you're implementing within, within your businesses as we begin to reopen or prepare to reopen. So be on the lookout for that as well. Um, and then um, also, um, quickly, it's not listed here, but do want to let you know that both our Education Committee and our Military Affairs Committee are still meeting. They're still hosting their regularly scheduled meetings on the same day of each month that they normally do. Um, our Education Committee is getting ready to go through our scholarship applications. We have two very generous members um, that even in spite of, you know, some of their own economic challenges during this time are going to be sponsoring our two student scholarships. So we're excited to get to continue with the programs um, that we've always offered um, and just to be able to do it in a, in a new and different way. Our Military Affairs Committee is going to be hosting um, some guests from Career Source at our next meeting in May, which will be wonderful because in addition to talking about the programs that both the Chamber and Career Source offers in regarding to um, transitioning military, they're also going to be talking about many of our local uh, Tampanians that are transitioning with their careers right now as well. So these are all great opportunities for you to come connect with fellow chamber members, like-minded individuals, but also to be able to pick up some education um, that, and items and things that you can implement directly in your business um, each and every day. And then of course, lastly, just keep us in the loop. So our staff has been working to do chamber, uh, to call all of our members over the past several weeks. We're getting ready to start that again. Our ambassadors and our board members are also going to be participating, but please keep us in the loop. Let us know what's going on in your business. As I said, we're continuing to still get phone calls each and every day. Um, and people are calling looking for resources or looking for different services and things that they need in order for their businesses um, to keep moving forward. And we'd love to be able to refer you, but we need to know what you're doing. So. Um, those are our top 10 ways that you can be utilizing your chamber membership um, during this unusual time. Um, also want to share that in two weeks, we're going to be hosting Chamber 301. So those of you that, um, that are not brand new members may know that in the past, we've had a three-part series. Chamber 101 was an overview of the chamber. 201 was a networking uh, class, a network introduction to networking. And 301, um, we will actually be showing you step-by-step um, how to utilize our website and the backside um, of our chamber member portal. Um, after this presentation today, if you pre-registered, we are going to email you. It's going to be a similar document to what I just reviewed with you, but it's going to have all the links in attached that you can literally just click through and utilize that to implement these, uh, these in your business right away. Um, so you are going to get that email from us. If you did not pre-register through Chamber Master, if you just use the Zoom link that I sent out, um, in our member group this morning or, or through one of us that emailed you directly, then just shoot myself or Bo an email and we'll forward that email to you this afternoon as well. But we're going to be sending you a step-by-step -step guide of how you can implement all 10 steps in your business today. Um, and I think Bo had just one more slide and then we'll open up the room back for Q&A. Um, just some additional ways that you can stay in touch. We are active um, on all different uh, forms of social media. Ashley's doing a great job continuing to connect with our members and reply to messages that come in through these mediums as well. Um, super easy to find our staff, Kelly at South Tampa Chamber, Bo, Erica, or Ashley. If you forget our names, that's okay too. You can just email CEO, membership, or, or events at South Tampa Chamber. And if you can't remember anything that happened today, you can just email hello at South Tampa Chamber. That's going to go directly to Ashley, and she can make sure that your question or the information gets into the appropriate hands. 
Um, also just notice there, hashtag STCOC. Um, you'll know that we utilize this at all of our events. So if you did take a super awkward picture of Bo and I as we were here talking today, and you're, because you want to share that and check in that you were at Chamber 101, uh, make sure that you use hashtag STCOC so that we can search for that um, and find it and potentially reshare that information out through our social media channels as well. So um, one quick reminder, um, we are going to unmute the group in just a moment so that you all can ask questions and so you can connect with each other. So I just encourage you to make sure that when we unmute the group that you're still individually muted um, so that we don't hear any background noise. Um, also, please continue to put your information and connect through the chat. On the bottom right hand side, there's three little dots that you can click before you log off later today that's going to let you download that chat so you can save everyone's contact information um, and that way you guys can stay in touch. But thank you all so very much for joining us today. I hope that we gave you some great information that you can take and implement in your business. And then um, I think Bo is going to um, stop our screen share and open back up the room so we can all see each other. And um, if you do have access to a camera and you are comfortable, I'm going to ask you to let us see you so we can see your smiling faces. It makes it a lot easier to, to chat and connect. Um, and then, of course, you know that I do want to take a photo of the group. Um, so to be respectful, because I'm going to post this on the Chamber page, I'm going to give you a heads up. So I'm going to count to three. We're all going to smile. Keep smiling, just in your head count to five. It's gonna feel really awkward and weird, but we're all gonna look awkward and weird together, but that's gonna ensure that all of you are happy and smiling in the photo that we're gonna post on social media, right? We all have that. That's what could be on our Zoom bingo board, right? That we've all had that one picture of us that's been posted online where we're, we're looking a little off. So, all right, on the count of three, we're gonna smile and we're gonna hold it for five seconds and we're gonna unmute the room for a question and answer. So one, two, three. Awesome. And Brianna gets the award because we not only got a smile, but we got like jazz hands and a wave. So thank you to Brianna for your enthusiasm. But um, we're going to unmute the room um, and give you guys the opportunity to ask questions. Um, but thank you for coming to join us today. Thank you for your, um, your investment of both your resources and your time in the chamber. We're so very thankful for each and every one of you as our members. Um, and please don't hesitate to continue to reach out and let us know what more we can be doing to continue to support you and your business, not only as we go through this unusual time, but in the future as well. Awesome. Thanks, Kelly. Have a great weekend, everybody. So any questions from anyone? Any, any comments, any feedback? Could be about the information we did today. It can be about anything happening in the community or in the chamber. Hey, happy Friday, everyone. Kelly, did you get an update on